I've been playing Heroes for a while now, but before I did, I played League of Legends and before that, Dota on Warcraft 3. To say I have a fair amount of experience in the genre of MOBAs would probably be an understatement. In my many years of playing MOBAs, I have learned one thing, which is key to the overall enjoyment of the game, which is... Don't play ranked. Now, one could immediately jump to the conclusion that despite my experience, I suck at ranked or have a low rank. I cannot say that this is not true, nor can I say that it is true. It all depends on what you consider a good rank is. So I'll leave it up to you then by giving you the facts. In League, I start off in Bronze 1. Yes, astonishing, I know. Eventually, I climbed up to Gold. I can't remember how far I got, so we'll just say Gold 5. On Heroes, my quick match MMR is 2,687, which puts me in Diamond. However, my ranked MMR is only 2,308, which puts me in Platinum or Rank 17. I haven't played my 50 games yet in Ranked, so it's not fully accurate, but I'll take it for better or for worse. So I'll let you guys decide on whether my advice is sound or not. If you're still watching, I'm flattered. Moving on is how I got to the conclusion of not playing Ranked. Deep down, we all like to think that we are the best at what we do, and we play ranked in an attempt to prove this. Some people may play it ranked for personal gain, others may seek out a high rank to gloat to other people and get all the bitches. In the end of the day, we all have our reasons. However, pursuing a higher rank or attempting to get to the top is not only difficult, but it can be stressful. Many people get angry and overall do not enjoy the experience, and are not enjoyable themselves. I believe myself to be a simple man. I will play a game that I find enjoyable, and ranked, being the serious nature that it is, I do not find enjoyable. Now, don't get me wrong, we should not remove ranked from games as a whole, that would be absurd. Some people find genuine enjoyment out of ranked. Some people are meant to play ranked. That's how we get our MLG teams and high-ranking players. However, from personal experience, I have found that a lot of people don't belong in ranked, such as myself. There are many reasons why people are not suited to ranked. Some can be devoting all their time and effort to advancing ranks to no avail and shattered said person's feelings towards the game and the online community. Others may get far too angry too quickly, and when they start to even remotely fall behind, they will either rage quit or doom the team they are on and begin a spiral of tilting. As for me, I simply don't have the effort or time to pursue ranked. At the end of the day, I feel my rank is only 20% affected by me, and the other 80% is affected by my four allies. Should any of my allies not perform to the best of their abilities, then myself and my other allies must attempt to work harder for someone who does not deserve the victory in order for our own self-gains. I did not play rank for an exceptionally long time when I came to this realization, and I have enjoyed MOBAs thus far. For the sake of it, I decided to play my 20 preliminary rounds to find out what my rank would be in Heroes of the Storm, and it did not go well. For 5 games, I had an AFK on my team, which very much so annoyed me. Since in ranked each and every game you are being judged, per se, to establish your MMR, I find the nature of games to be very serious and on edge, including myself and other players. And if one person does not pull their weight or goes AFK, it is extremely demoralizing for the team. In normal games or quick match, I feel very relaxed, uh, so if the team falls apart, goes AFK, starts feeding, is intoxicated, or just plain negative, I find it rather funny than stressful. Since it's a quick match, it's meant to be fun. The tone and setting affects us very differently despite being in the same circumstances. While someone screwing around in quick match can actually be pretty funny, doing the same thing in ranked will make your allies hate you for costing an important game to them. Here is an example in my preliminary games. I did not record or save the replay, so use your imagination with me. I was playing as Lily and we were losing a game in ranked. Kelthis on my team decided to look at my build and question it, followed by blaming me for us losing. The Kelthus had extremely high deaths compared to the rest of the team, I think about 13 by the end of the game, mostly due to him either being on the front line or not being with the team, while I had 1 by the end of the game. Anyway, the rest of the team decided to hop on the bandwagon and blame me for us losing, but Kelthus was the main aggressor. I attempted to explain that no one build will win every game. My build was tailored for both the team and the enemy team. He dismissed what I had to say and continued to throw insults. After we lost the game, he continued to whisper me and throw even more insults with no rational explanation or reasoning. 
After a few minutes, he continued to blame me for him going down a rank, to which I gave up and I said, I really couldn't care less that we lost and that you lost a rank. Take it how you want it, we deserve that defeat. I blocked him and reported him. I could publicly shame and blame him, but I don't really care for that. The moral of the story is, don't be that guy. And thus I was reminded of why I did not like ranked. I don't like the environment, I don't like the mood, the setting, the people, or the stress that comes along with having a high rank. I am a simple man, and all I want to do is play a MOBA and have fun, whether we lose or win, and at least be able to laugh at the end of the day. I'm sure other people seek the same thing as me, but play ranked in fear of being judged harshly if you don't play it. I have another story going back into League of Legends. When I was advancing ranks, I of course liked to play with friends. However, a problem that I ran into was that a lot of my friends had a much lower MMR than myself. In other words, they could be or are a liability to the team and my rank. Which then left me with the decision of either playing ranked with them and have an increased chance to lose, or kick them and find another friend with a higher MMR to play with. In the end, I found it to be too cruel, so I didn't either. Whenever the situation came up, I stopped playing ranked and I just played a normal game with my friends. Even though sometimes we lost games, at least we could have a whole five-man group in normal games over a single partner in ranked. We could all hop on Skype or Vent or TeamSpeak and have a grand time, to which I established that this experience is vastly superior to some fancy number next to your name which indicates how good you are. Alas, however, I learned this a little bit too late, and the whole game of League was pretty much ruined for me due to my experience in Ranked and my personal opinion. Although I could go back and play normal games, the mindset and negativity was already engraved into the game. Eventually, winning became the only thing that mattered, even over trying to find enjoyment in the game. In the years that I played League, I saw a lot of friendships torn apart due to Ranked. It's fairly sad, I think, when a number will come between two or more people's enjoyment of each other's company. I think this is the main reason why I quit League and moved on to Heroes, because I needed a clean slate and not to ruin it this time. So this is my message to everyone who is still watching. Ranked is certainly important, but only important to some people. You should not feel an obligation to play Ranked, and you should not play it if you do not enjoy it. If victory is the source of your enjoyment in the game and you know you can achieve it, plus the adrenaline you get from defeating other people and earning your victory, then Ranked might be for you. However, if you value friendship and the social environment and overall shitting and giggling, then I would not recommend Ranked. It is a decision we all need to make on our own. No one could make it for us. I just hope that this information can shed a little light on the decision making process. We all define what is fun to ourselves differently. Some people may find great enjoyment from seeing their MMR go up, others might not. Some people may find enjoyment from making an absurd build and going crazy on the battleground, others might not. Just make sure you don't do the crazy build thing in rank. Anyway, I leave the decision up to you. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Like if this helped you, leave a comment on your thoughts if you feel like it, and if you haven't subscribed, give it a shot. You might like my other content, like the Best of Heroes of the Storm series, which is very shits and giggles orientated. I'd like to give a special shout out to Hotslogs.com for giving me permission to use the information such as MMR that they have tracked for me on this video. Go check it out if you would like to, and if you really like them, then feel free to support them like I have by giving a generous donation. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, have a good one. Thank you.